going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I am somebody that I absolutely cannot stand fear mongering. Um, some you know, massive headline, doomsday, um, you know, the world's going to come to an end. Um, there's people out there that have done it a million times and then guess what? Uh, everything ends up just fine. So, that's not me. But, I will say, <laughs> we live certainly in unprecedented times. And as we are approaching uh, February of 2022, who knows what's going to happen the rest of the year. And if you're watching this channel... I suspect that uh, your concern is there as well, and it's well-founded. So, preparing is certainly in order. And so that the message that I'm going to try to get to my point here, the message that, I'm, that I want to relay is uh, get going. It is absolutely necessary to store more food and to do the things, to take all the precautions that as preppers we think about, we talk about, we read about. And food is absolute, has to be number one on the list. Uh, you know, the mainstream media has finally caught up to what is going on with the supply chain issues with food. And now that they're reporting that, you can see what's happening in the grocery stores. It, the, the shelves are getting more and more bare. And that trend is not going to change because now you have a lot of non-preppers who are starting to stockpile. I don't know that that's a bad thing. There's pros and cons with it. But I think that over the next several weeks, we could find ourselves in situations that we're wanting to stock up on certain things, and we can't, either because those items are being allocated, there's limits put on, you know, just like what happened uh, early on with the bid, uh, you can only get so many cans of corn, you can only, you know, buy uh, so many gallons of milk, blah, 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 uh, uh, as well as other non-food items. So... There's no better time than right now, because you can't go back in time, to, to start stacking it deep. Uh, and there's ways that a lot of calories, and that's the goal in calories, there's ways that a lot of calories can be put away very inexpensively. And yes, rice and beans. Those are the two big ones right there. Uh, Sam's still has 25 pound bags of rice within the last week for under $10. So, there's no excuse. Just start doing it. If you're out there sitting there feeling like you know, I, I feel like I need to step my preps up and I really need to you know, invest some money and space and time into stockpiling food, you're not alone. You're not a nut. It needs to happen. So, Please comment below. What are your What are you thinking? What are you feeling with everything that's going on? Uh, these supply chain shortages are not going to suddenly fix themselves. We've got truckers blocking highways up in Canada. That's not going to help. All right, you guys take care. Be safe. If you get anything out of this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, click that notification bell. You guys take care. I'm going to cut this video short. In two miles, take exit 168 and there's east toward my Florence. GPS that I should shut off and it's still talking to me.